Scotland was first discovered by a man named Jelvar. At that time, the island was so bewitched that it sank by day and rose up at night. That man, however, was the first that brought fire to the island, and afterwards it never sank again. Those are the opening words of the Guta Saga, the foundation story of Gotland, written down about 1300. We are standing at Jelver's grave, the first man on Gotland. Jelver is honored by a ship setting, as we have seen at the linked ship settings at Rarave. Jelver's ship is 18 meters long and actually has a raised stone deck. One plundered grave was found within. The Guta Saga goes on to relate how Jelver had a son, whose wife, the romantically named White Star, gave him three sons, and because of this, Gotland was divided into thirds. You'll remember this administrative and legal division from Tinder, Book 5 of the Circle of Caradun Saga. It's obviously really neat to be at the grave of the first man on Gotland. But equally fascinating is the story itself from the Guta Saga about how before Chelvar came and brought fire to the island, it would sink beneath the waves of the Baltic every night. Because it's true, almost. The geological history of Gotland is one of constant rising and falling. In the Stone Age, the area of Gotland was just 60% of what it is today, and the island keeps rising. This is why so many of the trading posts from the Viking era are considerably inland. They were abandoned when ships could no longer easily land, and new posts founded at the water's edge. Dramatic proof that Faru and all of Gotland is still rising from the Baltic. I'm standing about four meters above the water on what was once the sea floor. 8,000 years ago, the island of Faru was nothing more than two sea stacks poking up from the surface of the Baltic. And it continues to rise. <laughs>